Bob Melvin is manager of the year in the American League, not only recognized by the Sporting News a couple weeks ago, but now on the grandest of stage by the Baseball Writers Association of America. It's pretty clear Melvin deserves this on his own merits, but even more impressive, he won what could have been a popularity contest against Alex Cora in Boston and Aaron Boone in New York. Both those first-year skippers run huge payroll teams in huge media markets, and obviously both lived up to expectations. But for Melvin, he took an emerging 2017 A's group and raised the bar by 22 wins. Despite having a completely broken down rotation and a team that began opening day with the lowest payroll in all of baseball. For reference, no team in the last 30 years of Major League Baseball has started opening day with that lowest payroll and then made the playoffs until the A's did here in 2018. Knowing some of the inner workings of this team without giving it all away, I can tell you that Bob has a tremendous grasp on his club both when they are surging and also when they are struggling. Analysts will try and point to tangible things like in-game decision-making when it comes to quantifying how Melvin managed his group so well. But for me, it's all that you cannot see, which is what makes Bob Melvin Manager of the Year. For example, transitioning one-time left fielder Chris Davis into an everyday DH and seeing him hit more homers than ever. Managing Jed Lowry through a career season where trade talks and the potential of a young prospect taking over could not have been higher. How about developing a back into the bullpen with Trevino setting up Trinan as one of the best duos in the game? And last but not least, turning players like Olsen and Chapman during their first full MLB seasons into bona fide leaders of the franchise. Long story short, the A's are super lucky to have Bob Melvin in the dugout, and even luckier that his recent extension will keep number six at the helm for multiple years past the 2019 season.